What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back at episode 272 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. Today's special guest, we got Alex Soto returning. It's been a long time. One of the OG guests on the show, so happy to have a friend of the channel back on today. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll kick off episode 272. First up, we have I Am Jesse Boy. This setup looking very moody, and I'm liking that with the whole black walls, a lot of black and white accents as well. This is looking super nice. Jumping right in, he's a dual monitor setup here, with his primary being a Fox Spirit 31.5, 144 hertz monitor. And then off to that left side, just for that extra added screen, real estate is a 27 inch AOC display. Now for this desk and streaming setup, there's a lot of stuff to make that happen. You might have seen the Elgato key lights around as well, with the Elgato Stream Deck and the Stream Deck Plus to make it all happen. But for his primary peripherals, he has a Wooting 60 HE keyboard, hands down one of the best out there, with Logitech G Pro X Super Light Mouse, got some grip skins on that as well, on the glorious extra extra large mouse pad. Now for his audio gear, also from Elgato, the microphone is the Wave DX, which is on their low profile arm, which is one of the best like mic arms out there. And that's all plugged into the Elgato Wave XLR. That's the like main audio interface for it. Then over to the right side of the desk is his PC, starting off with the white Lian Lee O11 Air Mini case, looking super nice and compact, with a Ryzen 9 5900X CPU, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, with an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Founders Edition graphics card. Got the Leon Lee Strimmer Plus RGB cables inside as well, so a super nice and clean looking white build to complement that contrasted moody black and white setup and streaming room. Yes, the photos supplied are a bit edited and color corrected as you can see by like the plants and stuff. There's really no green in these photos. That only accentuates the black and white look even more. Hey, either way, I don't care. I'm loving the setup. Next, we have Alan with a pretty chill approach here, going with the more minimal side with the one monitor. But you guys know automatically why I picked this and why I like it. Again, not only is it a cool looking black and white setup, but those like hexagon sound absorption panels seem to be like a DIY artificial plant wall type thing. I've seen these, you know, done in a lot of different ways, whether this is real or not. Like, is that real moss? I don't know. It looks it. It looks incredibly cool, but uh, I love this. <laughs> Then that punchy green color only complements his monitor wallpaper. So checking that out, that is an AOC 27 inch display. And the monitor arm that that's on has a little USB dock on the bottom, which is super convenient. And the white only adds to the black and white again. Down to his peripherals, we have the Logitech Craft Keyboard with the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse with their MX Palm Rest. But back to those speakers, you're probably super curious what these are and why they look like that. They're the Scandina mini pod speakers, and I gotta say, they're pretty dope looking. You know, if I wanted to be picky about it, I could say sure the technical roundness to the design of the speakers doesn't match the overall like geometric and angular, just natural design of the products of the rest of his setup, you know? Uh, but I still think they're some pretty cool looking speakers. But next to that is his PC. That is the NZXT H1 case. It's the first version, but he said it is with the updated riser cable, so don't worry, it's not a fire hazard. Inside the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X CPU with a Gigabyte B550i Mini ITX motherboard, 32 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM with an ASUS ROG Strix RTX 2060 Super. And you know what, Alan? Not to sound cringe, but the setup in this shot right here is super. There's no RGB. I think that really would have hurt the overall effect that this setup has. There's like the few warm accent lights, sure. The way the light hits those, you know, the moss acoustic panels there. It all just looks so warm and cozy and comfy. Next up, we have Darkhound, and this setup looks so familiar, I definitely saw it on Reddit. I can't remember if we showed this off previously or not. I checked my channel description history and couldn't find this anywhere, um, so if we did see it, then I apologize. If not, we're seeing it for the first time, and let's strap in, because this one's got some pretty cool stuff going on. So first up, for the overall size of the desk, that is some serious 
Pixels got right in front of our face here with a 31 and a half inch ASUS monitor. It's 2560 by 1440, but then on each side in the vertical orientation is a 22 inch BenQ display. Now what I find super interesting and very creative is check out how under the main display, there's like a little sound bar there kind of thing. This is actually two speakers that he has on the actual um, like stock stand that the monitor comes on. So this is actually wall mounted, still has the stock stand on, then he has his speakers there right in front of him. They're the Ants Angle 3. So, you know, depending on how they're paired, that could be technically like a stereo soundbar set up in front of them in a way. Uh, just very creative. I love that idea. Into the rest of his peripherals, he's rocking a Royal Kludge RK100 keyboard with a Logitech MX Master 2 mouse on a faux leather mouse pad. Got an Xbox controller in the back as an additional peripheral. And since there's not a lot of desktop space and the monitors are taking up a majority of it, no room for a desktop lamp, so there is a monitor light bar. Now, Darkhound's taking cable management to a next level because everything here kept up nice and tidy underneath that desk. So with the, you know, sit stand desk, it can move up and down. Nothing will tug or come unplugged. And you'll also notice here it's where he has his PC mounted. Now, this is not a gaming PC, as you can probably tell by the, you know, the externals of the case. Uh, but inside is an AMD Ryzen 3 3100 CPU with a Noctua NHL9A Chromax cooler, 16 gigs of Patriot Viper 4 Blackout RAM with an Asus GTX 1650 Super OC GPU. So would the setup enthusiast in me love to see this setup highlighted by a nice, like, you know, ITX case with more modern specs? Sure. But if it doesn't bother him, it doesn't bother me. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Again, Darkhound, this is just such a creative setup. I love what you're doing with the overall limited desktop space here. It's the essentials, no unnecessary gadgets and stuff lying around, no cables, no mess, wireless peripherals, everything you need smack dab in front of you on an adjustable desk. Now, Amar, absolutely smacking us in the face with beauty here. This setup does it. It just does it for me, you know? <laughs> absolutely love this the warmth in the room with all the wooden accents with those slat wall panels they are from a company called what up which yes i am now searching to uh do this to my room and studio as well but you blend that with the dark walls like the copper and bronze sort of accents he has going on with the speakers and the planter this looks phenomenal my god and the topographic wallpaper didn't even get into that that matches too and you guys know i'm all about it he actually custom made that in sales wallpaper packs i'll put them down below as well so let's dive in um this is oh this is the money shot for sure so it's an lg 38 inch ultra wide that's sitting on a wood accessories dual monitor shelf riser God, look at the texture in that desk uh the chair is a hibata e3 ergonomic pro for the peripherals, he has the Lofree 1% transparent keyboard with Logitech G Pro wireless mouse, wooden wrist rest from Lofree as well, and I can't tell what that macro pad, possibly editing and color correction tool is underneath the monitor shelf. You guys know I love me some macro pads, so I'm curious. I couldn't find that in the specs he provided. But for audio, those glorious speakers are the Argon Audio Fenris A5, also with the Argon Audio subwoofer, the Bass 10 Mark II. And for a microphone, that is the Rode PodMic. Man. And I like that light beam behind the desk as well. I'll drop that in the description. Uh, now, for his PC, he said not really a lot of specs, unfortunately, for us. We just have the uh, the Fractal Design Defined R5 case with an AMD Ryzen 9 3900 XT CPU and the AMD Ryzen 6900 XT GPU. But honestly, that's fine. The computer is the thing I care about the least in this setup. Like, for example, even the layout of this cool shelf with the, the lights, the watches, the keyboard, it all just looks so nice. Now, he did say, like, all right, I know my TV's too small. He said it's either a 32-inch or a 34-inch Samsung TV. Um, I definitely would agree there. Like, a, a nice 50-inch mounted on the wall would look great. Uh, but still, you also don't want it to take away from your overall room. Those custom topographic posters he made as well. So it all just, like, ties together perfectly. And again, I know this slat wall phase is, like, super booming right now, but I am 150% in love and on board with it. Amar, make some space. I'm moving in. Hi everyone, my name is Alex from Alex Otos, and this is my streaming slash desk setup. Now the goal behind this setup is to keep everything extremely simple and very minimal, but very functional for building keyboards and for streaming on. 
I wanted to keep the space bright and fun, and I think I did a decent job at that. I've incorporated things like a concrete style desk, as well as just using a lot of natural light in my condo that I live in. But let's jump right into my setup, shall we? I'm using a Mac Studio and I've mounted it underneath my desk to clear up more room on top so I can work and freely move things around. I actually think this is a very elegant solution if you own a Mac Studio. So I've done a lot of cable cleanup and I've used a lot of cable ties and stuff, but hey, I mean, I'm not the best at it, but uh, I think it looked pretty good. Now the first thing on top of my desk is a clock from Parallel. I actually love having this thing here. I think it's gorgeous. And then we have the Stream Deck. And I have a very odd relationship with this thing. I don't love the way it looks, but it does suit the setup and it's very, very functional. I think it's great for what it is. I just wish it was a little bit more less branded. Then I have a Volt 176. This is my audio interface that I use for my microphone. This thing's amazing. Then I have my Rico camera, which I bring everywhere. And now I have my Xbox Elite Core controller. And then I have my keyboard. This is the Envoy, and here's what it sounds like. It's seriously one of my favorite keyboards at the moment. And then I have my mouse. This is a custom painted MX Master 3 that I got done by Leonardo de Mouse. I love this thing, although I kind of like my G Pro Wireless a little bit more. But next up, we have the main attraction to my setup, which is the studio display from Apple. Now, I absolutely love this thing. Not only is it crisp, clear, and gets the job done for what I needed to do, it also has phenomenal speakers and it has a gorgeous design. And I've mounted it on this Amazon Basic stand, which is honestly amazing for the price. I recommend everyone get one of these. Next up, I have my overhead camera, which is the Fuji XS10 with a Sennheiser 416 MKH or MKH416, whatever it's called. And then we have the X-T3 as my side camera and my face camera, which is an X-T4. I light my entire setup with a Nanlite Compact 200 with diffuser on it which I think is amazing and then I have my gear that I use to solder everything for my keyboard streams. I also have this Godox projector which I use to make fake light on the wall which I think is awesome and that's pretty much my entire setup. Here are a few snapshots of it again. Enjoy and I hope this inspires someone to do something cool as well. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 272 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware we showed off. Plus, a big shout out to Alex Soto for showing off his brand new 2023 setup. I'm loving everything he's doing. Definitely give him a follow, give him a like, all that good stuff. Speaking of which, if you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.